Hello everyone, this is Gianluca and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, lasso regression and feature selection. Lasso regression is uh, a particular linear model whose cost function is this one. We have the usual uh, mean squared error uh, used by linear regression and then we have this term here that is called L1 penalty. Alpha is a hyperparameter and A, J are the coefficients of the features. The idea of this term here is that the last regression, in order to minimize this cost function, will shrink the values of the coefficients to as low values as possible. In this way, last regression is able to perform an automatic feature selection because if two features are collinear, their presence inside the dataset will increase the value of this cost function because we have two coefficients here. So last regression will try to shrink the coefficients to zero if the features are useless or are collinear and do not help minimizing this cost function. So the idea is that using this term, last regression can perform an automatic feature selection. How can we identify the features that have been selected by lasso regression? We just have to take a look at those features whose coefficient are different from zero. So lasso regression will switch the coefficients of the useless features off, putting them to zero. So the idea is to calculate the coefficients and see which coefficients are different from zero. So, first of all, let's import NumPy. And then let's import our lasso regression. Lasso regression works better when the features all have the same order of magnitude and possibly they are centered. So we have to import a uh, some kind of uh, scaler uh, or scaling algorithm. For this example, I'm going to use a standard scaler. Then, in order to simplify how Python deals uh, these two objects, we are going to use a pipeline. Then this uh, model has this hyperparameter here that is alpha. So we have to optimize this parameter, hyperparameter. We are going to use a grid search for this example. Now we can uh, import the train test split object because we are going to work with uh, the training dataset and the test dataset. Now we can import our dataset, for example, the diabetes dataset. Now we can import our dataset. And we can import the features the feature names. Now we can split our dataset into training and test using this code here that makes use of train test split. Remember to always use a random state to make the results reproducible. Now we can create our pipeline. It is an instance of the pipeline class. The argument is a list. Each element of this list is a tuple made by a string that is the name of the object and an instance of the object itself. We start with a standard scalar and then we apply a lasso regression. So standard scalar and model lasso. Now we have to optimize this hyperparameter here, alpha. So we create an instance of the grid search CB. The object we want to work with is the pipeline. The grid is 
a dictionary made in this way. We give the name of the object inside the pipeline, in this case model, double underscore the name of the argument we want to optimize according to the documentation the um, hyperparameter is called alpha so we have alpha then the grid in which we want to search for the best value of this hyperparameter for example we can go from 0.1 to 3 with a step equal to 0.1 so np point a range from 0.1 to 3 with a step of 0.1 this uh, band this boundary is not considered but it's not so important then the number of faults in the cross validation cv for example 5 the metric we want to optimize when we want to select the best value of this hyperparameter for this example we're going to use the negative mean squared error and in order to make us see what happens verbos equal to 3 for example I'm sorry we have to set the name scoring here Now we can fit search point fit x train y train. So for each value we have five values of this performance matrix in the cross validation. And then the value that maximizes the average value of this uh, observable in cross validation is selected the value of alpha that maximizes such a value is selected so this value is search point best params 1.2 and then we can take a look at the coefficients of lasso regression we have to go inside the best fitted model by our search and take the coefficients so it is search point best estimator the, the index of the object inside the pipeline that is one and then coef property these are the coefficients and as you can see some coefficients has, have been put to zero so these are those features that the model has considered useless so let's save this object here now it's easy to see which features have been considered they are those features whose value is different from zero so coef different from zero gives us a, a numpy array of true and false if we want to know the names of the features let's convert the feature list in, into an array These are the features that the model has selected. Let's write it in a markdown cell. Again, there are some features that the model has discarded. Features discarded by the model. These features are those features whose coefficient is equal to zero. And are these features here. So this is the way we can use lasso regression for feature selection. We first create a pipeline with a scalar, in this case I use a standard scalar. Then we have to optimize the hyperparameter of the lasso regression, that is alpha. We can use, for example, a grid search with this performance metric to be maximized. Once we have the best lasso regression, we can take a look at the coefficient if we want at the value of the upper parameter if we want and the coefficients of the last regression are related to the features those features that have a coefficient equal to zero are those features that have been discarded those features whose coefficient is different from zero are those features that have been considered useful by the model 
So the idea is, last, is that uh, last regression is very powerful uh, when uh, we want to apply an automatic feature selection. Last regression is a bit more sensitive uh, with respect to overfitting than, for example, ridge regression. But if, you are inter if we are interested in um, performing an automatic feature selection, last regression is very useful. Of course, we first need to make sure that there is a linear relationship between the features and our target variable. This is possible, for example, using a simple exploratory data analysis. I talk about uh, all the linear models uh, in my supervised machine learning course. You can find the link in the description of this uh, video. In that course, I talk about every linear model, their uh, um, strength, their weaknesses, uh, how we can use them, and why should we use, the, should we use some models instead of other models. In this course, I talk about all the models of supervised machine learning, at least the most important models, and I focus on these linear models like lasso regression. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to visit my website, yourdataTeacher.com.